Yo, 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 check my flow. Stu- stuttering the flow. Straight up in the flow. I flow like this. All right, y'all, we're back from samplesimple.com's FL Studio Lab. This is Wall Holder coming straight at you from my virtual sampling portal. Today, I'm going to show you how to create and build your own custom drum kits using Slice X. Now, Slice X is the new slice sampling tool, it's pretty much an advanced fruity slicer all right so when you're dealing with your loops slices and chops you can now use slice x all right so let's get started now i've just sampled some drums from my stereo radio receiver all right i've tuned it into a local radio station i've sampled these drums directly inside of edison and then i've dragged over the sample this this drum sample directly into slice x and i'll go ahead real quick and play the sample just to give you an idea of what we're going to be using today all right all right so let's get started now if you look over here to the left you'll notice that i have a windows explorer window <laughs> open all right and what we're going to do is we're going to slice up this drum sample and what's going to happen is you're going to notice that when we're creating the slices and then we export them you'll notice that they're going to appear in the windows explorer window where i have it pointing to c drum kits all right now the method we're going to be using to create the slices and chops or to actually create this this custom drum kit we're going to be using the marker slicing method all right the msm all right so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by zooming in on a couple parts within the sample. And to start off, we're going to just go ahead and call this this uh, part in the sample kick because that's a kick, right? I'm going to call that kick one. And this right here, that sounds like a tambourine. So I'm going to go ahead and call that uh, tamb one, all right, for tambourine. All right, now just to let you know, I'm using the marker slicing method. The marker slicing method pretty much involves using markers to create your slices and chops. So what I'm doing is I'm actually selecting and highlighting the part in the sample, and then I'm pressing the M key, which allows me to input the name of the marker, thus creating the slice and chop, all right? Now this was a kick. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, name that kick two, right? Cause we already have a kick right there. I'm gonna just move it right there. Now this is most likely a snare. And yes it is. So what I'm gonna do is again, using the marker slicing method by pressing the M key on the keyboard, I'm gonna create snare one. All right. I'm also gonna go through the rest of the sample. And... All right, so there you have it. We've just sliced up this drum loop, this drum loop sample, again, that I've sampled just from a, a local radio station using my stereo radio receiver, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do now is just simply go up here to the file menu, and I'm gonna click on the export region as menu item, all right? And when that happens, it's going to bring up a save as dialog box. Now this is the this is the 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 very critical point. This is the important part. This is basically where we need to get to to create our custom drum kit using SliceX, all right? So what's going to happen now is we're exporting the regions. So what's happening is SliceX or rather FL Studio is going to create separate drum sounds or drum files even for each region or marker or slice or chop that we've created within slice x so it's going to create the drum roll file it's going to create kick five it's going to create snare one dot wave files all right so what we're going to do is we're actually going to i have it pointing right now to my c drum kits folder which is this one right here all right so what we're going to do is just call this, I'm just going to call it uh, my drum kit. All right. And then I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And 
if you look over to the left where w the Windows Explorer window is open, you're going to see that all the files are going to be created. All right. I'm going to save it. And as you can see right there, we've just created my kit. Sorry, my drum kit. There's the drum roll. There's hi hat one. There's hi hat two. Kick one, two, three, four, five. Snare one, two. Tamb one, two. All right. That's basically it. We've just created our own custom drum kits. Again, using Slice X. All right. Yeah, it really is. All right. So, you know, a couple other things you can do here now is, you know, we can go ahead and open the browser. All right. And let's see. Uh, I have drum kits already mapped to the browser. And now what I can do, of course, is just start auditioning and, and previewing the the my drum kit, the drum, the custom drum kits that I've just uh, created. All right. There's my Tam 1 and Tam 2. There's the drum, low, uh, drum roll, there's the hi-hats, and you know, what I can do now is just pretty much use them in, in my beats or songs or projects within, within FL Studio, or even any other um, uh, audio so uh, sequencing software, right? Cubase to, to uh, Reason, to your MPC, to uh, pretty much anything live, anything you want to use this, this custom sample drum kit, you can go ahead and, and use it. So, you know, I can just go ahead and uh, start using the, the drums. There's some cool snare, the, the snare, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, we can just start building a simple, <laughs> just a very simple, uh, um, just a very simple beat. Another thing I can do is even uh, go ahead and redistribute this drum kit, right? So let's say I want to... I can just go ahead and create a zip file. As you see there, there's a zip file. I'm just going to go ahead and rename it sample simple dot com radio drums, radio drum kit. Slice X radio drum kit. And there you go. Yo, yo, yo. check my flow. Stu stuttering the flow. Straight up in the I flow like this. It's just that simple.